Good evening everybody! Today we're back with another deep dive into Guitar Hero Buckethead's Pike album series with Pike 52 Factory. So, let's begin. Woo! Released March 13th, 2014, Pike 52 was the fifth Pike album released that month, dropping way out of sequence right after Pike 47 and three albums before Pike 51. Buckethead, eh? The 10 track album begins with the album's shortest track, the 2.5 minute Factory Q. What begins as an upbeat, funkadelic jive descends into chaos 30 seconds in and doesn't let up. There's some electronica and hip hop style beats, and it surprisingly ends with a callback to 1998's From Mom from the album Colma. Not bad. Track 2 is Factory R, and immediately the song locks you in with a fantastic beat and vibe. This could be used in any movie soundtrack, from a dystopian thriller to a western. A lot of cool stuff going on, and an enjoyable track. Track 3 is Factory S, another track that has a great overall vibe and a track that really could only come from the mind of Buckethead. And again, with the sudden shifts of tone and pace, this one is well suited for the movie soundtrack. Good stuff. Factory T is next, the shifts in tone and styles and how they seamlessly blend into one another is both brilliant and bizarre. One minute we're chilling, the next we're in funk mode and so on. Each style gets 20 seconds and then moves on. Nicely done. Track 5 is Factory U. This is the album's best paced track so far that, despite changing styles numerous times, it doesn't slow itself down or get in the way of itself. The album's most accessible track yet. <laughs> Track V is next, and the guitar soloing has arrived, and it's rip-roaringly glorious, with several short screaming solos backed by some funk noodling. It's another enjoyable track that could only come from the mind of the master. <laughs> Track 7 is Factory W, and it's the album's most funk-driven track yet. Another excellently paced song, the backing and rhythm are particularly strong on this one, and whilst there is a lot going on to digest, it's all good. Track 8, Factory X, has some excellent but subtle soloing, has an addictive lick around the one and a half minute mark before ending with some chill vibes. Another one of the more accessible tracks showing the genius of Buckethead and how he can blend genres together. <laughs> Track 
Misery Way comes next, there's more subtle soloing early on, and absolute chaos around 45 seconds in that might well blow out your speakers, and you'll thank him for it. Again, the pacing is fantastic, and of all the songs we've heard so far, this might be the one you come back to first. <laughs> album concludes with Factory Z, and what an excellent way to wrap up the album. The pace is slowed for the first two minutes to make it feel like an outro, and then the guitar solo kicks in and gives us a final shot in the arm. Well played. Overall, Pike 52 is a very enjoyable album. The backing tracks, rhythm and drum beats deserve an honourable mention, being solid throughout and for this style of album are as good as any of the earlier Pikes. The constant change in styles, vibe and genre might throw some people off at first, but once you become aware of it, you begin to love it. And whilst I don't think any of the tracks are 4 or 5 star classics, the innovation and creativity is right up there. From start to finish, Pike 52 delivers and it's one of the more unsung gems in the Pike album series. After adding up the rating I gave for each track, it came to exactly 66.5%, which I categorise as good. And for a 10 track album, that's pretty impressive. You can find my individual song ratings of breakdown on our website, natanet.com. So what's your rating for Pike 52? Be sure to let us know. <laughs> 